Advent Devotion for December 12. A reading from Acts, chapter 5, verses 12 through 16. Now many signs and wonders were done among the people through the apostles, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared to join them, but the people held them in high esteem. Yet more than ever believers were added to the Lord, great numbers of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, in order that Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he came by. A great number of people would also gather from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all cured. For reflection, beginning with Jesus and the apostles, ministry to the sick is surely one of the oldest Christian traditions. The sick then as now include those suffering in mind, body, and spirit. Here, caregivers bring the sick into the streets as well as to Solomon's portico, a colonnade on one side of the temple complex built by Herod the Great. The first Christian hospital was founded by Basil of Caesarea in the late 4th century. Many religious orders continued the tradition and founded hospitals. Today, many hospitals are associated with Christian denominations, and hospital chaplaincy is a calling for some clergy. The sick are brought to our hospitals, our contemporary Solomon's porticos, and there we see signs and wonders of healing thanks to modern medicine, often accompanied by prayer. As Christians, we are called to minister to the sick. Indeed, in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus says that when you visit the sick, you are visiting him. Did someone come to see you to offer love and support when you were sick? Have you visited someone who is sick? What did that experience mean to you? Whether as the one visited or as the visitor, was it a healing experience? Prayer. Healing God. Sustain doctors, nurses, and hospital personnel in their tireless work. Uphold mental health professionals and those in their care. Calm all who are facing illness, surgery, or a new diagnosis. Bless all who bear love and support to the sick. Amen.